All right, so at the new farm, there was this mixer, this humongous concrete mixer. And we didn't know if it would work or not, so we loaded it up yesterday evening and brought it home. All right, when we get through with breakfast, we're gonna go do the chores and then show everybody what we got at the farm. What's up, Peach? She says she's hungry. Breakfast time. It looks like, look like she slept on a red mud pillow. Thanks for a good bed. <laughs> she don't fire me showing up not having her breakfast ready this morning. She sure is. And on top of that, I'm the one thanks to it. <laughs> Good morning, baby. What's up, Angora? Yeah, you a sweet girl. You want to feed peaches? There you go. All right, let's go. I am gonna take the take a little moment to look at the beautiful rose. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? It smells so good. Look at the, all the quackers. What quackers? I don't see any quackers. You don't see any? No. Do you know so? I see the alarm system. Yeah, it's the alarm system. Look at that Muscovy. He's the leader, isn't he? He is the leader. Look at him dancing. Look at that room inside of him. She's doing it too. Dance, buddy. What's up, boys? Jojo. All right, Jojo, you can have two since you're so big. Chip and Tom are gonna fight the whole time, I think. Yeah. Chip, Chip. Look here. Keep it, keep it going. Look here. You I can, can come and occupy the I can be a distractor. Right. <laughs> it worked well. It did work. Jojo! Oh, Big Joe. What's up, Tucker? Good morning, Tuck, Tuck, Tuck. Good morning, Scott. Yeah. Let's go let the, let's go let the nug out. Nuggo! Nuggo! Come on with it, Nug. Come on with it, Nugget. Go, Nugget. Well, come on now. Come on. Look here. Look at them coming. <laughs> Y'all, come on. I'm gonna go let my bantams out. Um, they're, I always lock them up at night because I don't want anything to get them. They're my little special babies. <laughs> they kind of get up in here. <laughs> Hello, babies! nesting box mats so much that we got some more. I like those. Yeah, I do too. Well, that's why we ordered, you know, two separate times because we didn't know what we were thinking about them. Make sure we liked them first. What do they think? They, they, they're kind of mad at us. What about goat? What's up, goat? And they got this little back on the back of it. Yeah. They're nice. And they look so pretty and clean. And we just got these off Amazon, right? Yes. I'll try to remember to put a link down. Remind me. Remind me to put a link down there because I'll get in trouble. Up? What's up, girl? You like that nesting pad? Yeah, man. Y'all want to plant some corn today? Sure. That's what I'm thinking. Some sweet corn. You know what it's called? What? Peaches. 
and cream. <laughs> is this for peaches? It's, it's, well, I, it's really not named after peaches, but don't tell her that. But is the corn for peaches? No, girl, it's for us. Oh, okay. It's sweet corn. Oh, okay. It's for us to eat. I figure since peaches is so sweet, it might be for her. As long as Scott don't get in there and eat it. He said he would never do such. <laughs> I must say, Scott has not got in my garden in, better hush. in a while. Better hush. In He's years. listening. He is listening. Don't listen, Scott. You do good. When we get through planting the corn, y'all want to see if we can get that concrete mixer going? Sure. All good right. idea. All right, Ruby, we're going to go get some corn. Plant it, okay? All right. Okay, Tucker. Tucker and Ruby. Feel her little warts. little knots right there. It's, it's little warts. Goodness. <laughs> she loves it. Look at her eyes. Yeah, I know. Sweet girl. Alright, let's roll this plastic back. And get ready to plant some corn. But the dirt looks pretty good. B, and this is the second year of us, you know, working this soil and trying to get it built up. Wasn't the greatest stuff when we got it. But we added a ton of compost to it. I've done cover cover crops, I know twice, or maybe three times on it. It's still got a little bit of clay in it, but it's good. Good enough to better plant some, than better than it was, and good enough to plant some corn in for sure. All right, corn is number one corn loves water believe it or not number two corn loves nitrogen believe it or not corn we're going to plant one inch deep around eight inches apart so you can really plant a lot of corn in a small area because it's just going to grow up it's not going to grow out like a tomato or a squash or potatoes or anything like that it's just going to go straight up and my rows are going to be about three foot apart on corn you can even go closer than that. I just find three foot easier for me to get in and out of. And we're gonna plant that sweet corn, peaches and cream. I've never planted this corn. I've always planted silver queen in the past and I haven't planted corn in quite some time. Uh, reason being is I just don't have that much room. Matter of fact, I had some fans send me some gym corn, which is the pretty colorful corn. And I'm just gonna run out of room. I'm not gonna have enough room to plant that. So. Thank you guys for that, and we'll try to get it in when we get to the new form out there where we got a lot more room to plant a lot more stuff. Alrighty, we got six rows planted. It's gonna be roughly over 200 plants, so we'll take that. We'll take 200. 200. 200 plants, but that means more ears than that. Usually one to two ears per stalk, so it could be anywhere from 400 to 200 ears. Huh. All right, the last two rows in the uh, garden is gonna be for Miracle's flowers. We got some cock's comb, we got a few sunflowers, and we're gonna plant some zinnias too. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. So we got a little flower garden planted. It'll be much bigger on the car Kill 40. <laughs> That's for sure. What you got? Some celiosa, how do you say it? I think it's called celosia. Celosia. We got sunflowers, white nights, right? Yes. And we got some cactus zinnias, and we got some borage, and we got some pink cosmos. So that's what we're planting this year. I think they're pink and white. Yeah. Pink and white. We direct seeded most of them, but from this point forward, we will start all our uh, flower seeds in seed trays or soil blocks. We'll get it figured out. I got some weeding I want to do in here. Then I get through with that. We'll get the, uh, the uh, concrete mixer off the trailer and see if we can mix some feed up. And one thing about the concrete mixer, and you'll see what we're talking about, is I can also mix my... Uh, seed starting to mix up for especially soil blocking if we start doing soil blocking for flowers I don't think I'll do soil blocking for vegetables just strictly flowers got a lot of experimenting going on around here 
All right, let me weed this booger. Why I'm out here in the garden, weed in the garden, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Audible. I absolutely love this app and this service. I've been using it for over three years. If you don't know what Audible is, they're the leading provider in spoken word entertainment. I used to listen to it when I had my day job commuting back and forth to work every day. And when I get out here in the garden, I love putting my headphones in and getting the audio book going and working the garden. And like right now, I got the Profitable Hobby Farm. That's what I'm listening to right now as I'm working and weeding in the garden. And not only is it just audio books, you also get access to their Plus catalog. And their Plus catalog is not only the thousands and thousands of book titles, you plus you also get things like the ability to stream your favorite podcast like the Kakio Farm podcast. <laughs> then on that Plus catalog, they got things like uh, I like the sleep sounds. I'll cut that out on uh, right before I go to bed. They got uh, guided fitness workouts. They got guided meditations. How the subscription service works is, is you get one credit a month. And the Plus catalog is unlimited. You can download anything out of the Plus catalog as many times as you want. And anything you download is yours to keep for life. It's yours forever. And if you sign up now, you'll get one free audiobook plus 30 days on them. And if you are interested in that, I got a link down below that is audible.com slash cockhillform or you can text cockhillform to 500-500. That's audible.com slash cockhillform or text cockhillform to 500-500. And that's all one word. And I'll put all this information down below in the video description. All right, let's get back to work. Y'all getting some goat loving today? Mm -hmm. Nothing like it. <laughs> Fifi giving you kisses? She is. Oh man, she's a sweetie. Yeah. Sweetie, sweetie. She's loving being rubbed on. I see that. I usually get Bootsy in the mornings when I feed them hay. Oh, Bootsy's had her turn. Oh, has she? Yeah. This one stepped up now. This is Fifi. I see Fifi. Hey, Fifi. Show your beautiful face. <laughs> There's her beautiful face. Oh, wait. She's loving it. She is loving it. Look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a special girl. Yes, you are. When you get through with the goat loving, y'all want to run to town and get some feed for the uh, mixer? Yeah. Let's see if we can idea. mix some uh, chicken feed up yep. ourselves. That's right. All right, well, you continue with your goat loving. Yeah, I'm going to be a minute. And take your time. I'll let so, you know when I get finished. We, we, goat loving comes first. We ain't in no hurry to break this up. Pepe says she sure is glad. And we got a goat over here, too. <laughs> we got a, another goat. <laughs> a chicken named goat. Oh, wait. Yes, Pretty girl. Yes, you are. You a sweet girl. You can have bigger ears, I know though. it. Bigger than my hands. When they run, they like, their ears are going to make them fly. I know it. They're dumbos. Little dumbos. I think she's become my friend because of animal crackers. Animal crackers will do it. If you have an unfriendly goat. Well, you... she was never unfriendly, no, but we couldn't do this. No, you can do that. Now you can. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Got side. Oh, wait. All right. So at the new farm, there was this mixer, this humongous concrete mixer. And we didn't know if it would work or not, so we loaded it up yesterday evening and brought it home. It was in the barn in the barn at the new farm so that's it right there well i don't know this thing works uh luckily it looks like the rats never got in it i don't hang on let me let's take a moment and look at scott and all his beauty there was no rats in here no wires chewed up nothing no so, nest nothing why i have no idea I, I, it doesn't make any sense but i'm not worried about that it um <laughs> i want to see if it works 
Now, the reason why we're a little bit excited about it is, is two things. Well, three. It could be three things. Number one, we want to start kind of mixing our own little mix of chicken feed, kind of buying our own stuff and mixing it together. Well, this could make it extremely easy for us to mix our own feed. Two. There he is. Thanks, Scott. Two, I can mix my own soil for plants and starting seeds in this. So I can buy my own stuff and I can mix my own soil mix in here. Three, I can mix my own type of organic fertilizer in this too as well if I wanted to. So this is super exciting if it works. That's the kicker. That's the kicker. If it works. <laughs> if not, it's a big old pile of yeah, well, this is metal, so. Well, the only thing I can think of that would be bad would be this motor. You know, we I could, guess we could replace it. You could replace be. it, but I have no idea how much something like this costs. Zero clue. It runs off 110. I'm hoping that it was going to pop a breaker instead of just sparks flying if there is something wrong with it. But it's very simple. It's just a little motor here. It's got a lever over here that you pull down. And all it does is put tension on this belt. It's belt driven. It makes this belt tight and it turns that pulley. And is that whole drum gonna turn? That whole what? drum's gonna turn because you can see the teeth on it. So and what does this do? Push that, in to stop. I guess if, if you were, uh, it was an emergency. Oh. You know. Oh, okay. If you got in it and I could stop it. I'm not it. getting yeah. in it. <laughs> <laughs> and this big old handle here is what you turn the dumping in. Now this one's huge. So where does it dump? Out of the top part now? Yeah. yeah Show would, me how it works. We would turn this here like this. And so how do you open the drum? It stays open. Oh, it's open on the top. Oh. Uh oh, well, it has some water in it. But like that, we dump it out. Oh, it just goes to the side. It doesn't tip all the way over. Right. Okay. So we would have like our gorilla card or whatever handy to whatever jump handy. it into. We would figure that out. You know, I ain't looking here to see if there's any rats in this thing. Oh, Jason. Have you? No, I have not. Let's see. No, it's empty. It is empty. Huh. And it's not rusted out. No, it's in great shape. Wow. I'd say, uh... We actually thought that they were going to take this. And it was in the barn when we were looking but they had relocated it before we bought it so they knew it was there they but they didn't it take out it of the barn. yeah they pulled it out of the barn but i'm thinking that maybe they figured out that because of the way the hitch is yeah the uh that they were going to require a trailer to put it on yeah the hitch needs to be redone um you couldn't haul that behind a truck the way you couldn't is. haul you know you could i would did not dare haul this thing behind a truck i don't you couldn't go that fast with it at least in my opinion you wouldn't go that fast so what's our next step? I'm gonna plug it in. Uh uh. And I'm gonna uh crank it up. Uh uh. And what see what I happens. Do, run? No. I don't want to run. You think it's gonna work? I mean, like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Sparks fly, I think. All right, so you... sparks fly. How far are they gonna fly? Uh huh. All right, so here's your. Your plug in, is it in the off position? Make sure of that. No, it's not. That would have been bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been. So we're on stop. <laughs> we're on stop. So right. we're on a. Here we go. This thing gonna be good for camera, but I'm gonna stand back. That's okay. All right, plug got it in. Got some grease fittings that will grease. Well, we I'm gotta gonna, see if it works I'm first. I'm just gonna kind of see just real quick and see if I see any sparks, okay? Real quick. Okay. <laughs> I hear no waste. It's working. All right, plug it on in. I don't like that. Connecting. Or oh, they got tape all around it. All right, so now what? All right, so the motor's running with no problem. I'm going to pull this lever down and see what happens. You Is ready? Is it upright? Yeah, I mean, look, make it's, sure. It's fine. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I'm kind of worried about this. <laughs> Unplug it. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? I can't believe it. 
That's Ooh. pretty cool. That's awesome. How about that? Hey, you know what else? What's that? We could mix our own concrete. Yeah, we can mix our own concrete. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> Right. Excuse me, sir. Go, buddy. Come on with your roadblock. You're the most beautiful roadblock ever, but you're going to have to move. Go on there with your tail. I'm right, fixing to give this thing a whirl here. Let's see how it works. Play and pellet. Feed wheat. This is cleaned oats. Okay. And this is mine. That worked out awesome. Pouring it came out just. Man, I mean, that was. It's empty. It is empty. Yeah, there's nothing in it. That, that, that was too easy. <laughs> We're, I'm so used to nothing going easy for us. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it needs a cog hill sticker because it went right. It went perfect. Did yeah. it? Yeah, it did go perfect. If that's we can figure crazy. out what they like and. Yeah, figure out. We may look on the internet and see if we can find something. something I want like to that. find some of those little green peas. They like that. Yeah. We just gonna have to do a little research. This was kind of spur of the moment. Though. Yeah, this was the spur of the moment. We we were so eager to test it, <laughs> test it out. We just got four of what we knew they would eat. Well, that'll last Scuzzy's us a week really or like so. It. Yeah, that will. Huh? It's so the really like it. My glasses are clogging up. I'm pleased. So now we can mix our own feed. And. Generally, we can save money doing that way. Yeah. But y'all can see, it's got a little bit of everything in it. Wheat, oats, milo, and the chicken feed or layer feed right there. And I think black sunflower seeds would be cool. All right. All right, Mary Carl, you get them in there. I'm going to go on to the house. No. <laughs> I think the scabbies will do a better job. Than you? Can we work the gate? Work the gate. Good job, Jason. Hey, if you have not seen our podcast channel, go check it out. I'll put a link to it right over here. And I put a couple of videos up here that I think you may like. Y'all be good. Uh -huh.